Hey, I'm on the four hour for the Euro USD. I wanted you to see what it looks like when you do your markups on a four hour chart. And then you're going to drop down to a lower time frame. So I'm going to go on the four hour and then I'm going to drop on the 30 minute chart. So this was an area right here where you had some imbalance to come into the market. Okay, based off this candle. I right, just engulfed it. All right, now zone is up. So as soon as you, um, you, know, you drop your zone, we're gonna go down to the thirty minute or the fifteen, your choice. Now this paints a different picture, right? Look what we have. When you saw it the first time, it just looked like one, one or two candles. Now we have multiple candles, and we're 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 coming back into this zone. So. There's a multitude of things that we can do. So remember, one of the rules is that, I mean, if you want to come back and take the trade as soon as you're inside the zone, and to me, that's the most dangerous one is because you run the risk of something like this. I mean, that's 30, that's 36 pips that you're going against you if you're going long based off this being a demand zone because price broke out. So I like, like I said, I like to see the, the candle. I like to see a, some candle eliminated. Um, if this is, so this is the first one that really gets into the zone. So I really would have uh, maybe a uh, some type of limit order or if I'm manually trading, I'm looking to get past here. But here's the issue with this now. We now have um, another candle that has form. So this one is obsolete now. So anytime a second candle is formed, I'm waiting for what? Price to engulf that? What happens? It doesn't happen. So this is the next candle. I want to wait for what? Price to engulf before I go long. That is one way that you can do this. Now, let's add our fibs. We can measure this whole entire zone. And we can look for our key levels on our fibs. All right. And you may say to yourself, hey, once price gets back into this zone, I'm looking for buy orders or into your 61% zone, which still put us back, you get what I'm saying, back up here. Now, I really don't really want to do that um, using the FIBs, but I'm just showing you, sometimes you can pull your FIBs up just to see what you know levels currently are. So for instance, before we even saw this drop, we could have pulled our FIBs up and we could have said, hey, this is a key area that maybe possible we can trade to get price to come back down to, and the FIBs falls where? inside of the band zone so this could be a great trade setup to actually take it into the zone i like to use the fibs to take to take trades too i do not like fibs for entries a lot of people use fibs for entries i don't all right i, I just don't because here's the reason why this is considered the golden ratio at 61 percent retracement level well if the golden ratio but a lot of times price are blasting through the golden ratio so if you got buy orders here, you're just getting plummeted. So that's not what we want to do. But I like to trade too, right? So my style is different. A lot of people don't trade to the zones. I do, okay? So of course, we know we, we crossed this 23% a few times, but we finally got the drop. What does this mean? If we cross, cross this 23, we got a higher probability that we will go to the golden ratio, which we did. So this is a great trade setup. So you'll wait for your signal to get in to go, okay? And so this would have worked out for you if you was taking the trade to the downside based off the FIBS level. Okay. So if your FIBS line up in supply or demand zone, that's that's another confluence. You can look for opportunities there. All right. Um, all right. So we get this in golf. We, we, we passed it. This one. We're in the trade right here. Triggered. So we're good to go. And your stop loss will be below here or here, whichever one you want. If you're going heavy, you want it here. If you're going light, you want it here. So you probably say, well, if it's heavy, why would you put the heavier one closer? This is because if it really goes wrong, you just compound it. Your loss is like crazy. But on a lower time frame, you see we see more structure, right? Uh, we see more formation of things. Now, 
what is this? This is a what? Demand zone. What's happening? Every time price come in here, we find some way to get out. All right. So look, this candle came into the zone. If you want to, you could have went long. You'll be up. You'll be good. However, now nah, I want to see something eliminated. So we got a what? A second candle that formed. And what happened? This third candle engulfed it. So I would have been traded for the solids earlier, just based off of that. But I'm mindful of this level right here because that was once a support area and we may be facing some resistance if we get back up here. So you got to be mindful of how, what's the risk reward of getting there. And that's only uh, 12 pips, so I wouldn't even take this trade. It's not worth it. All right. Um, so, yeah, we're on a higher time frame. Let me go on a, a different pair. Um, see if we can find some things out. USDJPY. All right, and you see already I've been um, trading this this morning. Okay, so we came back up into this area, supply area. This is a great trade, by the way, I took earlier. All right, this is the last candle before it moved. Perfect. Now, see, we're on a four hour, right? So it looks totally different. Each count is a four hours. However, we got to do what? Let's just let's do this. This is what we would have had. We're waiting for price to come back patiently into this area. It's going to be hard for you to really gauge because if it comes to the edge right here, you mean you may take it, but this is a four hour window. So that's a lot of pips for this edge on up. You know, we're talking about 40, 43 or something pips. So what you do is go down to your 30 minute or 15 minute. All right, now you see how this looks. Now I can see more candles. See, so look at this. Now watch this. Look at the same area. See how they look? Totally different, right? So it's the four hour. All right, so you see what the four hour does. It gives you a greater base and range. And then when you go down to the lower time frame, you see now we get to see a lot more structure. That's why we want to go ahead and do it for the four hour because the four hour will go ahead and knock out instead of you trying to come in and just do all the structure. Yeah, just do it on the one candle before what? The break. So if you don't go on the four hour, this will be your supply zone. If you did it straight off the 30 minute. Right there, because what? This is the last candle before it broke. So if you do it on four hour, on its candle, it's going to include all of these. You see how I'm saying I'm trying to make it more simpler for you guys? Because when you go on a lower time frame, it's already done for you, even though it was looking like this on a four hour. Because what are happening is you would see this setup right here, and you wouldn't deem that as a what? Accumulation zone, because there's just three candles. You're like, ah, that's really nothing because you're going to judge it based off of this. See this? You're basing it off of this. Now, this is this is a, a ranging zone with a lot of candles. But this is only three, but on the 30 minute, it's more. One, two, three, four, it's multiple ones, right? So what is this? The supply zone. So what are we looking for? We want to see price fight to get back up here for additional sales. Now, if this level is violated, then we have to look left and see how far we can go on down. But price doesn't have to come here because price didn't come here. Uh, price didn't come back there. Okay. So you you so you have to be mindful of those things that price doesn't have to come back. So that's part of the trading that you would have to accept. And then you would have to look for other trading opportunities and maybe have to look for breakouts. So on this drops, all you're seeing is breakouts happening, breakouts happening, breakouts. Low, high, low, lower, low, high, low, lower, low, high, low, lower, low, maybe a high, low. But we're stair, step, we're stair stepping down. You see, you see a stair stepping down. Now right here, we came back. Got in and we could have went short. 
Now, these are the levels of where we want to really pay attention to in the future because look at this, guys. I mean, it's 486 pips that happened from July 27th, two days ago, all the way down here. You're going to catch you one of those. You're going to get that. Problem is, just a lot of emotional trauma senior. You know, you don't know if it's going to go away, but it's part of training. You just got to train yourself for it. Uh, like I said, for me, I would take it at each level of structure. So this is a level of structure we got out when we broke. Um, this will be another area getting out. Pretty sure if we're going to higher time frame, we see something over here. So you see these areas over here. Okay. All right. So I hope this video helps. Chart on the four hour, then go down to the 30 or 15 minute, and then look for trade setups on there based off the of price coming into supply and demand zone and then looking for a qualifying trade such as are there any bullish bars elim <clears throat> eliminating additional bars in the demand zone and in supply zone are there red candles eliminating other red candles for you to look for opportunity to go short. All right, so that's that. Hope you enjoy your weekend.